can probably tell from just what my face looks like right now, I'm here to do a Halloween tutorial. And this is probably going to be my only tutorial of the season. Because, well, I don't usually do Halloween tutorials. I just feel like there's so many here on YouTube that are far more talented and far more suited at doing these kinds of things. And they just do a better job. And let's face it, I didn't grow up with Halloween, so the whole vibe of it, um, it I'm still getting used to it. So... Bear with me in that. Um, I know there's zombies and scary things out there. You can search for tutorials and find all kinds of things. And I decided to do a Monster High doll tutorial. Oh my god, these dolls are so cute. So this is Skeleta Calaveras, I think her name is. But it's Skeleta and um, I just loved her. I wanted to do a Monster High tutorial regardless of whatever. But I just thought her look was so great for Halloween that I wanted to replicate it on myself. So um, stay tuned if you want to see the tutorial. There's a lot of steps involved. So hopefully you enjoy and I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy Halloween. Bye. So to start out this look, I'm going to start on the brows. And I'm filling them in and defining the shape with my MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Velvetone, which is a matte black shade. And I'm creating an angle at the beginning of the brow to give that kind of defined shape that the doll has. And then I'm filling in the sparse areas with my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. And the shade is dark brown. I think it's number four. And just go on and do the same on both brows. Then once I've created the shape, I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of makeup remover on a cotton swab just to make sure we have the correct shape. Then for the face makeup, I'm starting out with a foundation primer. This is the Laura Mercier Oil Free Foundation Primer and I'm applying that all over my face to prep my face for the face makeup. For the face makeup, I'm using pure white acrylic paint from MAC mixed with a bit of face and body foundation in C6 and I'm applying that with my Makeup Forever foundation brush. This is number 8N. I'm applying that all over my face, avoiding the, um, the eye area and the lip area. So I mix the two colors together to create this kind of white, semi-white shade and I'm buffing that out also with a sponge to make sure we get a seamless blend of this color. And then for the eyebrow area and the more de detailed areas, I'm using a concealer brush. This is also from Paula Dorf just to make sure that I get a precise application around the brows. Next, I'm going to apply a powder. This is using my Sonia Kashuk Round Top Kabuki and my Ket Foundation Powder. And again, just buffing it out with that damp sponge. Next, apply a primer to your eyes for the eyeshadows. This is my Urban Decay Primer Potion, the anti-aging version. Apply it all over the lid area and under the eye. Then for the base, I'm using Clearwater Pro Longwear. Um, paint pot from MAC and my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just to apply this all over the eye, lid area, the brow bone, and under my eye just to create this rounded kind of shape that the doll has going on. Then for the color, I'm using Clear Sky Blue Pigment from MAC, which is a matte Robin's Egg Blue. I'm applying that with a MAC 217 brush just to blend it around the crease area, the brow bone area, and under the eye, but I'm leaving the lid area bare. Then for the actual mobile lid, I'm using a NARS paint. This is in Solomon Islands, and it's a darker blue shade, and I'm applying that just on the lid with my MAC 242 Synthetic Brush. And then I'm applying Zingy Eyeshadow from MAC over that color with my MAC 239 brush just to make sure we set that paint. Then of course blend out the edges with your MAC 217 or any blending brush. For the crease area I'm outlining it with my Physicians Eye Booster Eyeliner just to create that kind of lid effect or you know faux lid effect. And just draw the line right in your crease area and clean it up if you made any mistakes with the same Solomon Islands eye paint that we had before. 
Now this part really upset me that it got cut out, but I'm applying a acrylic paint in black black to define that shape that we have in dots I'm using a dotting tool that you'd use for your um, nails and I'm using that just to create like the outline of the dots and then for the little flower detailing I'm using my acrylic paint again in high def scion from Mac and my liner brush from Sigma just to create the little petals from the dots so just follow that shape that's the shape that we're going for and then I'm applying eyeliner just on the top just using that same physicians formula eyeliner just to create that upper lash line liner then to create the little curly cues that the doll has so create those designs I'm putting two on my brows that they come down from the ends of the brow and then here it's just some little cheek designs that she has going on create the same on both sides now one thing I'll say if I was doing this look again I would do a more opaque white base and bring it up more to my hairline and down my neck so if you're gonna do this look just keep that in mind I wasn't wearing this out so it was kind of okay that I didn't perfect it but if you're gonna wear it out definitely bring it down your neck up to your hairline and do a more opaque color then for my nose I'm using the same acrylic paint and just a flatter brush and I'm just creating the nose detail here just fill in like a little triangle on the tip of your nose and apply mascara this is my Too Faced Better Than Sex apply it to your upper and lower lashes and don't forget the highlight I use vanilla eyeshadow from MAC and just a 252 shadow brush and then for the lashes I use sleek eyelashes in Siamese 232 and I apply those with my tweezers and then I'm gonna curl them with my Revolution eyelash curler just to keep them in place. Now for the lips, I'm using Pink Nouveau from MAC, which is just a bright pink shade. I'm outlining the lips with that. Mwah. Then I'm just cleaning up the shape with the white that we have on the face because I didn't fill in as close to the lips as I needed to. So just fill it in and blend it out. Then outline the lips with black eyeliner. I'm using black back chromographic pencil from MAC just to outline the shape of the lips. And this is just going to give us a guideline to apply the designs later. Then I'm using that same eyeliner brush and my acrylic paint in black back just to outline the shapes on the lip. We want to create a little smile line at the outer corners and a little cupid's bow at the very center of the lip and pull a line down. Then just do stripes coming down with the acrylic paint. Then a cheat way to do it is just, yeah, smack your lips together and you get the exact outline on the bottom. Do that. And then I'm going to fill in just the center of the lips so it gives a little detail that the doll has. Just like that. Then now we're going to go on to the little stripey detail here just to... Do the design that the doll has pretty much so fill in that those lines and then I have to apply dots where am I gonna put them ah, there so just put the dots in these are just the designs on the doll's face there you go so it looks pretty good yeah I think so for the hair I'm using this spray paint this is from Ulta I just got it's the orange color just any spray paint and I'm spraying it over some hair extensions that I have so we can put these in our hair instead of applying the orange paint directly on my hair because that wasn't going to happen. And then just spray, spray, spray. It was quite a task. And detangle it and let it dry for a few minutes before you put it in. And what I did was curl them too to get that little curl that the doll has going on. And then, yeah, that's it. I'm going to apply them to my hair and show you how they look. Put them in and, yeah, put them in on both sides and there you go. That's the look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Ah, what a task it was. So there you go, guys. That's the completed look. Do you think I look like her? I don't know. Uh, I think I did pretty well for my first try. Like, I didn't get a practice run or anything. It was, it was just one go and that was it. So I think it worked out pretty well. And even the hair, I actually really like too. It helps that we have similar hair right but yeah <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial check below for links to my twitter facebook and instagram and i'll try to include the full list of products used and as usual you can check out my blog for um pictures of the final look and all that good stuff so thank you guys so much and i'll talk to you soon